All right, party people, what is up? We are here with my newest addition to the collection. This is the John Dillinger um, custom that I got. Um, he did this for me um, in December, uh, right around Christmas time. That's when I paid him for it. Uh, this thing is a beast, man. I'm gonna show you guys a whole bunch of close-ups and stuff in just a second after I'm done talking. But I um, just gotta give you a little bit of info about this guy just because I absolutely love this piece. It has become my favorite. Whoa. Music's, ki music's kicking up a little too high. But yeah, dude, I just want to show you guys, tell you guys how much I absolutely love this piece. This has become my go-to daily driver for sure. Um, the only time I don't use this piece is actually when I go someplace else because I like to leave this guy at home because of how nice he is. Um, I don't really have a case for it yet either, so I'm still working on that. It's just one thing at a time, you know, but this piece is fantastic. The drop top, I'm loving. It's just like a normal skillet, except you'll flip your skillet pad underneath and say it's windy or something like that. All you gotta do is put your hit through the top. You don't have to worry about wind taking it. You don't have to worry about squeezing it between the glass and the, the pad. It's just, you know, straight shot right to the center of the pad every time. Um, goes right into here, hits fantastic, perks like a beast. You guys can see it frothing around inside that chamber. It's got a three hole, um, three hole snout diffuser kind of. It's not the two on the bottom, it's got three, so it, it hits fantastic. Drops all the way to the bottom of the chamber. So you have to, you barely fill any water to it. Oh no, the pencil fell. But um, the, uh, the water, I barely fill up to like here. It barely goes a quarter of the way up the chamber and it froths up the entire chamber. You guys can see it with the sun coming through. Normally you can't see the bubbles perking from the front of it, only the back, but since the sun's hitting it at this angle, You can see it frothing around in the chamber right there. Fantastic piece. I mean, I love this thing. The art on it is so clean for what he did. And he put all kinds of Earl theme on this for me. Um, I just wanted a honeycomb Earl theme, so he did all the colors on his own. Um, really, really sick. I love the colors. Um, someone was telling me it reminds him of a giraffe, and I think that's pretty sick, because it, it, when they said that, it reminded me too. But um, it's got just real clean work. All the little globs on it, like Earl. You got your little Earl glob additions. Earl glob feet, little stretched out ones for the back, just making it look like stretchy taffy oil, sexy oil, you know, good, good stuff, man. He did this all on his own. I only asked for four feet, but he came up with the uh, the sexy oil feet and all that stuff. All I said was honeycomb Earl theme, and that was it. He did everything else on his own. The only thing I specifically asked for was the honeycomb on the mouthpiece and the four feet. I didn't ask. For any style, any colors, nothing. And uh, he came up with this for me. And like I said, I'm loving this guy. With the, it's even got the glob, you know, glob glass little horn features, if you will. Dillinger likes to put like these uh, really sick horn work on his stuff. He does really good sculpting, and his horns come out sick. Um, a couple of my friends have some of his customs with horns, and they look great. But for this glob theme one, he went globby horns. And um, the best thing about these globs on the side is they hold the. Uh, the Sherbert Dabber perfectly. I mean, look at that. Just holds it in perfect. You can pick it up, you know, pass it around. Pencil stays in. Doesn't go anywhere. You can tell unless I, you tap the pencil, it can like slide out, you know, but as is anything, you give it a good tap, it'll probably fall out. So um, it's not really made to hold it in there against an earthquake, but you know, it does hold your, hold your poker whenever you need it to easily. And it's great, man. I love this thing. So I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to toke up, and then you guys are going to see a whole bunch of shots of me smoking with it and some close-ups of the glass. So, cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> and all the links on how to get a dilly. Um, the Dab Lab is doing customs for Dillinger currently, and I'll put all that stuff in the description in the comment or. If you want, just comments and all that stuff. I'll answer you guys, whatever you guys want to know. And I'll put some links in the description about them and all kinds of shit. So, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you soon. Peace.